In this video, we're going to continue on with the drop down menu and some little extras that you can add to your drop down menu. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. Now, the first thing I'm going to let you know is I added some margin around our drop down menu. And so what I did is I just created an ID of test in our first div here. And then I just created some CSS right here for that. So if you want to go ahead and do that, feel free. So let's flip back to our index.html. Now, the first thing you can do is on our drop down menu, you can add icons here. You can add an arrow, you can add a plus sign that indicates that this is a drop down menu. And we do that with the span class in Bootstrap. So let's go ahead and do that. And we put the span right after our text. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and create our span. And we just use the name carrot. That's what that is. Good. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and let's refresh our page and see what we get. And there you can see we've got a little carrot now. See how that works? And that's really kind of nice. So that's one thing you can do. Now, you notice how there's no space here between the N and the caret. If you want a space, you'll have to go back into the text and just create a space right here. And that'll actually give you a little bit more room. So sometimes that's a little bit confusing to people. So let's save this. We'll refresh this. And there you can see we've got a little bit more room now after we added that space right here. Now, the next thing we're going to take a look at is headers and dividers. And what you can do is you can actually create a heading up here above our selections. And so let's first do that. We're going to go ahead and add a header. And you guessed it. It's actually another class that we call. So let's go ahead and let's just take this first line right here. We're going to copy and paste this right here. Now, this is not a link. It's just a header. So we don't need this anchor tag anymore. So we can go ahead and just get rid of that. And then we're going to call another bootstrap class. And we put that class in the first li tag. That's how you do it. So that's what we'll do. And again, we're just going to call another bootstrap class, like I said. And the name of that class is dropdown header. And then you can put in whatever text you want. And let's just go ahead and we'll just call this transportation. How about that? Okay, good. So let's go ahead and save this and let's refresh our page. And there you can see, take a look at that. We've got our header now. Now, you can also add as many headers as you want. So let's say we had a whole set of different options that we wanted, but they were different types of options. And what we're going to do is go ahead and copy these three LIs, these first three LI elements right here. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to go ahead and copy and paste that. And let's say we're going to deal with different food types now. So let's call this a hamburger. And let's just call this French fries. Good. And of course, let's rename the header and we'll call this food. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page again. And there you can see now we've got our second header, but you see how this is kind of too close to the first header. These two headings now are sort of crunched together. You can actually add a divider between these, which makes it look a whole lot nicer. And it's easier on the eyes of your user. They can see that these are two clearly different headings. So let's go ahead and we'll add a divider now. And let's just go ahead and take our heading here, this, this heading right here, because it's kind of the same thing. We're not going to add an anchor tag. So we'll add it before our last LI element in our first header. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that. And actually for a divider, you don't even need text. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that. And the class we call is just simply divider. It is that simple. So we'll just say divider here. Okay, good. That's all you need. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page and take a look at that. See that nice divider we've got? We can tell that these are clearly two different headings. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks again for watching.